Welcome to another Debaco University video. Here we're going to be looking at presumptive and confirmatory testing for drugs. Presumptive tests are the ones that are going to be used initially on site, and confirmatory is going to identify the specific substance and typically performed in a lab setting. So initially those presumptive testing, as I said, typically initiated by law enforcement or those first on the scene, and they indicate if the suspected substance is present or not present. A test kit will typically produce a positive indicating color if the substance is present. We see right next to me here a testing reagent for ecstasy. Then laboratory testing that confirms with certainty the presence of the suspected substance would be performed later. And just as a side note, that presumptive testing can also be performed at a laboratory setting as part of the analysis process to at least determine or justify what further tests should be carried out. And here we're looking at the presumptive test for the Ducanoi reagent. Now the Ducanoi reagent is a positive test or would be testing samples of suspected marijuana or uh, TH. The Ducanoise test is conducted by placing a small sample of the suspected material, about the size of the tip of a typical pocket knife to give you an idea, inside a test vial as we see here in the image above me. The deep blue purple tint of the liquid indicates uh, in, inside the vial indicates the test was positive for the cannabinoids present in the sample. Other THC containing drugs such as marijuana, hash oil, uh, and others will produce a light blue to dark purple reaction using the Ducanois reagent test. So again, this is just one example of a presumptive test. Now this confirmatory test that I was mentioning earlier, confirmatory tests use uh, instrumental analysis to positively identify the, con the contents of submitted material. Typically it's a multi-step process to separate out individual components and compounds. The process determines the chemical characteristics of the compounds to be compared to reference materials. The goal is to make a positive identification in this qualitative analysis and uh, helps determine what substances are present and if one or more of those substances is illegal. The reason why this is typically done at a laboratory setting is because it has a high degree of specificity. So we want to be sure we're being very clean, very sterile, and isolating. Uh, we're getting to identify the actual chemical profiles uh, versus a presumptive test or kind of like an up-down, positive, negative, a general idea, and then we would identify those specific substances with this confirmatory test performed in a laboratory setting. 